actual guided part of the run the half marathon was actually really nice it had you talk to yourself a lot they gave you topics after every mile like they always do and they i really appreciated how at a certain point they were like okay pretend like you're on a bike pretend like you're on your bike right next to yourself and cheering yourself on motivating yourself so it made you forget the fact that you were actually just running <laughs> because you were more so thinking about what you would be telling yourself if you were on a bike and running next to your biking cycling next to yourself and then they also told you to pretend like you're your own best friend what would you tell your best friend if they were next to you do it um Think back to every starting line that you've ever taken and how this is just one more. So that was nice. There was also a pacer in front of me that was going to be able to do it. If you kept up with that person, you would be able to do the half marathon in an hour and 50 minutes. Never saw that person in front of me. <laughs> so they were kind of ahead of me, considering it took me two hours and one minute to do. Um, so... They were ahead of me, but then there was also a two mile person, two, oh, sorry, a two hour pacer behind me. And I swear I never saw that person, but I made it right when they, or right before them, I guess, which was awesome. And then I really appreciated that I was in between the two of them because then that way I didn't have to, like, I kind of knew where I was, but I also didn't know exactly where I was because they were going I was in between the two so I was so confused and the whole time I was just like okay how many minutes do I have left what is how how many miles and I just kept mathing like okay I'll make it in this amount of time okay I'll make it in and then you know what I just kept going and it's what helped me keep going is just the fact that I didn't know the time I was just like don't stop and I didn't stop the whole entire time unless it was a water station and or if it was somewhere I wanted to take like a cute picture of that I wanted to remember and experience for later with you guys. So, thank you. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who kept up and watched me through my whole entire half marathon journey. And what is next for Lola is a full marathon! I already signed up for it. It's in November. It's about 12 weeks away. I'm going to actually start running Ow. with the guided for it next week because I just wanted to take a week off so I could just chill and like get myself back into my routines of life. Um, so that's happening. And yeah, I'm about to start running again. I'm so excited. Also, my celebration dance is completely having to change. That had made me look like I am taking a poop <laughs> at the finish line. And I did not notice that until they took professional pictures of me. And I have a little slideshow of three or four of them. And you can see. But 
yeah that's changing for sure <laughs> got 12 weeks to find out what it's gonna be oh it's been a couple days but i just wanted to mention that um my knees got so swollen after that half marathon that like they were bad i'm glad i took this week off because it, it got me time to recover my legs and they feel better now they don't feel as bad see look at see back to the normal normal legs <laughs> but now i am going to continue on and go on to my full marathon training i'm starting off i believe there's 12 weeks left so i'm gonna get ready and start posting and doing those runs and y'all gonna come along if you want to i can't wait i can't wait it's gonna be amazing and fun um i hope you guys have a good day and have a good week and i will see you on the next one hopefully okay bye